I'm 34 with 30 plus kids and I got my own. You hear me? I hold my own weight. I hold my own weight. Child, a man who appears to possibly be from Texas revealed that he has more than 30 children online and all heck broke loose. People started dragging him and it just was a whole lot of whole lot of whole lot of in the comments section baby people started to pull up his records it just was a whole big old mess and we are going to get into it in this video child stay tuned hey what's up what's up what's up it's your girl neek and you're tuned in to neek at night okay and over here we're gonna be talking about this post that pretty much is going viral but before we get into that post i want to see who's a part of the night out community and who's new here so if you are new and this is your first time to my channel i want you to go ahead and drop a half moon emoji in the comments if you are a night out and you've been here a while i want you to drop an owl in the comments and we'll see who's a part of the community and who's new to the community while we share our thoughts on the topic Okay, and if you're new here, you know, my night owls already know we got a website, I got accessories, I got all kind of goodies on there. So check it out, get you some coin off and everything like that. And, you know, let's support each other. Okay, but anyways, let's get serious. Let's get into this topic. Let's see what's going on and what the folks are talking about. So a man decided to take to his Facebook to share a photo shoot that he had did with a numerous amount of his children. Now in the photo shoot, it said that, you know, this was a large amount of his children, but nine of his children were missing. Now, when people counted out the children, they were like, wait, hold up. Does this mean that this man has a total of 33 kids and the dragging session commenced in the comment section? A lot of people started dragging him. A lot of people started to feel like there is no possible way that one man with several different baby mamas can have enough time to spend with 30 plus children. They were like, all of these kids have different baby mamas. They have different homes. You yourself admittedly is a truck driver. And there is no possible way that you have time to give 30 plus kids your undivided attention, love and nurturing that they would need from not only their mother, but also their father. And it takes more than financial means to raise a child. Now, under this post, it was not filled with all negativity. There was a lot of people who felt like, listen, at least he's claiming his kids. At least he's stepping up. At least he's being a daddy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they felt like at least he is acknowledging that he is their parent. In the photo shoot, the kids look to be groomed. And they were like, listen, all of the little girl's hairs is braided neat and this laid. So what's the problem? In addition to that, they felt as though, you know, this is 30 plus Christmas gifts. If any of the children have activities, how can he attend to 30 baseball games, soccer games, dance recitals? How can he attend to 30 different award ceremonies in a year? How can he attend to, you know, mathematical tutoring, educational needs of 30 plus children? And uh, the list was on and on and on. There was a lot of opinions and the brother who had all of these kids didn't appreciate everybody in his business. Now, in addition to people having opinions about it, some of his baby mamas of his 30 plus flock felt embarrassed by all of the attention that he was getting. They felt embarrassed that he mentioned them by name and they just felt embarrassed to be a part of the 30 plus clan. And he addressed them as well. But what seemed to really trigger him was one of his baby mama's other men having something to say. Now, I'm going to let him take it from here. But you guys let me know what y'all think about it below. 
Because where I'm looking, he was given a lot of sass. It was given, I'm overcompensating for something. So I feel like I this is necessary because I need to overcompensate for something. And it was given very much antibiotics and BV in the mix. But hey, here's what he had to say. First off, I'm going to start by saying this right here. I ain't embarrassed about a goddamn thing, especially not my kids. So would anybody feel like that I'm embarrassed about my kids? Fuck you. And like they said, I'm going to tell you like this here. If you ain't got no more money than me, I don't want to hear a motherfucking thing. You hear me? If you embarrassed, you got anything to say. If you taking care of these 30 kids, if you taking care of me, then you can contribute to what you got to say. But in the end, I don't give a None of you niggas out there bumping, none of you hoes out there talking, I ain't got more money than me. So what you got to say is irrelevant to me. I don't give a f But when it comes to my kids, I'm a ride, you hear me? And for the baby mamas that's embarrassed, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but these my kids and I don't give a f So if you feel some type of way, that's on you. You take that up with you and God, because I don't give a f And ain't a nigga got anything to say about me or my kids or my motherfucking mama. You know where I'm at? I'm going to set more sick. Right now, I'm in Monroe, Louisiana. I'm from the head back to Texas. I'm getting that motherfucking money, what you whole ass niggas should be doing. Because for my bitch, I'm going to go. I don't ask you niggas for a motherfucking thing when it comes to my 30. I still live the life I want to live. You bitch ass niggas out here walking and got J's on your feet. You live with your mama, you live with your bitch. I own my shit. We 30. This my shit. My house is my cars. I own my shit. We 30, motherfucker. You get like me. Then you can say something about mine. But until the end, nigga, fuck y'all. I don't even do this whole ass shit, But it's too many of you motherfuckers for me to address every last one of y'all. So I'm going to put it like this here. You don't take care of Nan George child. Keep your motherfucking mouth closed when it comes to Brian, kids. Because all I'm going to get taken care of, motherfucker. As long as I got breath in my motherfucking body, I'm going to take care of mine. And I don't give how nobody else feel about it you won't take care of me you don't take care of my kids you don't do a motherfucking thing so what you got to say is irrelevant you ain't got no motherfucking money to sit the fuck down and i meant that because i'm gonna do what the fuck i want to do you hear that yeah bitch. i'm that nigga though pull out game mate pull out game ain't weak i just don't pull out bitch. or you motherfuckers that want to know i don't pull out it ain't weak, motherfucker. I don't pull out. What you mean, weak, motherfucker? Tell talk about my motherfucking kids. You niggas got three or four and don't do a motherfucking thing. I ain't weak over here. My pockets ain't weak and my dick soul ain't weak. Chass, nigga. You put sad nigga sitting there talking. I ain't got a motherfucking dollar in your pocket. I ain't got a dollar in your motherfucking pocket. I ain't got a dollar in your motherfucking pocket. But you want to talk that shit? I'm still that nigga with 30. I'm still that nigga with 30. I'm still that nigga with 30. Fuck you mean, bitch? I'm still that nigga. When you get like me, then you gonna fuck with me, bitch. That's all I got to say, nigga. You niggas will never be me. Quit trying to run behind because you fuck the same bitch I fuck with that don't make you me. It, don't ne it will never make you me. It's only one Brian, nigga. It'll never make you me, nigga. Yeah. It'll never make you me. I don't fuck with you niggas, so everybody got something to say. But I'm that, yeah, I, I slang from the East Coast to the West, bitch. Been doing this since I was a little nigga. I ain't embarrassed about shit. They're my kids, bitch. Embarrassed. How you have you whole ass niggas should be embarrassed? You staying with your mama. Lay with your baby mama. Have you bitch ass niggas should embarrassed? You ain't got a thousand dollars in your pocket. Have you who should be embarrassed? I don't even take care of y'all, mama. Kid, but you want to holler about embarrassed? I see you trash. You walking around with the wigs on your head. Then I see your kids in the dollar store, nappy head in the motherfucker. But you don't inspire 500 on your head, but you can't spend 30 dollars to get your daughter hair braided. But embarrassed, bitch. Two hoes is embarrassed. 
That's what's embarrassing. That's what's embarrassing. Bitch. Your nails done, all that shit done. You got daughters, take them to the nail shop. That's what's embarrassing. Bitch. And you niggas walking around this bitch, riding on the side of your body, smoking brunch, and this this more ass nigga to pay for you this to pay for that. That's what's embarrassing. You bitch ass nigga work out, I walk around, smoke weed, sell a little weed all motherfucking year long, but you run to your baby mama house and your mama house. That's what's embarrassing. That's what's in bed. Yeah, bitch, I'm 34 with 30 plus kids and I got my own. You hear me? I hold my own weight. I hold my own weight. I ain't running to mama, my daddy, nobody. I get my own. That, yeah, that's what I do. I get my own. I make this shit on my own. What you niggas talking about? Let that go viral. Suck my dick. Let that go viral, bitch. I wake up today, I'm sleeping in my truck. I got a million motherfucking messages about what somebody got to say about Brian and his kids. But guess what? They're mine. And I ain't embarrassed about a motherfucking thing. Nothing. First and foremost, I'm not embarrassed about shit. They're my kids. If the mama's embarrassed because they, they, somebody talk shit, then bitch, y'all got a problem. Y'all got a problem. Because they're my kids at the end of the day. I don't give a fuck. Embarrassing about shit. You, 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 you hear them up? Y'all worried about what the next motherfucker gonna say. Me? I don't give a fuck. I don't. You don't write my check. You don't give me nothing. You don't do this shit for me. You 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 don't make no money for Brian. So I'm not embarrassed about shit. I ain't got an answer to you hoes. None of that. So you niggas mad about these. That's first and foremost. That's what the problem come in at. You mad about these. But I don't give a fuck. You want to be me so motherfucking bad. You want to be me so bad. It don't make you you because you my baby mama. That, that don't make you me. And if you got with her, you think, oh, man, she too fucking fry, you lost your goddamn mind. You and your feelings and shit. Let that shit go, bro. That's the part of the game. I've been this nigga, man. I ain't just come this nigga yesterday. I've been this nigga. Okay, so boom. As you can see, that was his rant. And in the end of the snippet that I showed, he said that everybody else is in their feelings. But most importantly, he seemed to be directing most of his anger to something one of his baby mama's dudes had to say. Now, a lot of people, like I said, felt one way or another. People felt like it was good that he was at least in their lives. And then there's people who felt like he was a piece of, you know, dog do that was handing out improper phs from girl to girl to girl now in addition there was people who also felt like there is no way that you're able to you know take care of all these kids and i don't know where the information came from but somebody decided to hmm let's see if he has a criminal record let's see if he has anything that we should know about and there was a laundry list of charges that people came up with now, I'm not going to show them here. They have been sent to me. I looked them over and I'm just like, wow. One of the charges that it showed, it appeared that there was a charge in 2020 that had to do with a child. And I will leave it at that. OK, um, but let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know what you think about this story. Um, the charge with the child is very concerning, but, you know, like I said, let me know what y'all think down below. Like I said, there was a people who felt like, well, at least he there and da, da 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 And then people was like, ain't no way he could be there for all 30. And it just was like a lot, 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 lot. So I want to know what y'all think. And let's talk about it. Leave a like on the video. Share the video. And let's get this discussion going. If you guys have not headed over to my website yet, this is my website right here. You can save 15% off of your total purchase with the code Night Owl over at www.neekatnight.com. Now, if you have not subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that right now. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you're notified when I post videos. Follow me over on Instagram because I post this exclusively on Instagram first and now I'm posting it here on YouTube. You know, so I'll do certain stuff like that. Like sometimes I'll post something on Instagram first and then, you know, vice versa. But to not miss anything, make sure you follow me everywhere. Follow me on my Instagram, subscribe here, and you stay up to date and in the loop.
and visit my website. See you guys on the next one.